Email and the internet in general were developed by very intelligent and for the most part very nice people who assumed that everybody who was using these technologies would be doing so in good faith. And most people do. Uh, but there are some bad actors out there who try to take advantage of that assumption and will pretend to be someone they're not when they send email, uh, oftentimes in an attempt to trick you into doing something or revealing something that you don't want to do. So that's where tools like Mimecast come into place. Uh, they allow us to uh, add an extra layer of protection and assessment on emails that come in and try to uh, either stop the obvious ones and let through the good information. So if Mimecast triggers impersonation protection, you'll get a message that says it's happened, uh, along with a description of uh, the sender, the recipient, information like that. And most of the time, you can look at that yourself and go, hey, I know that's not so-and-so's email address, or I'm not expecting email from someone in Latvia or Russia. So in those cases, you can just ignore that email, go on about your day, there's nothing else to do. However, if the email looks legitimate, or if it's something that you're expecting, uh, just please reach out to us. We'll take a look and double check, and then uh, release that email, and you can go on about your day.